course, we're going to make sure that we don't get on the wrong side of some of the wildlife out. Mm, as Patrick Arias discovered, in some circumstances, even a seemingly docile animal, well, can have a bit of an attitude. Mm. Meet Babette Cole, acclaimed children's author. She's on a new mission to warn people of the danger of cows. Last year, she was attacked by a herd of cattle. One of them picked me up, threw me up into the air, and I landed on the backs of all the other ones. Just a forest of noses bashing me and, and legs kicking me. I thought, one more blow to the head and I will be dead, as I couldn't get out, and that was the scary part. Cows are considered the most dangerous large animal in the UK. Babette was very lucky. Many others have been killed. But why is it so risky to be around cattle? Well, to find out, I've come to Northumberland to meet the most menacing herd in Britain. It's also one of the oldest, and they're wild. I'm hoping these chilling and wild cattle will give me an insight into the beast that lurks within our domestic cows. They're unpredictable and they fight. So I'm keeping watch from a distance with Ellie Crossley, the warden in charge. So this is your wild cattle? Yeah, this is them. So while we're this close, just ask for no sudden movements or loud okay. noises. Why do the bulls fight so much? They'll fight for dominance within the herd, uh, for mating rights and for territory as well. And this can happen all year round, any time of year. All the bulls here have scars, bits of ear missing, wounds on them. It's just a part of everyday life for them, you know. You see the same sort of behaviour in lots of herd animals. Unlike domestic herds, half of this herd is made up of bulls. This one is preparing to fight. First, a dominance display. Pouring the ground and chucking mud with its horns. Fighting can be to the death. It's now clear to me where their domestic relatives get such aggression. But surprisingly, bulls aren't responsible for most deaths amongst walkers. Cows are. And that's down to their fierce maternal instinct. The calves here, with their doting mothers, look cute. But I'm happy to keep my distance. Except that Ellie has to check the long grass for newborns. Which means we've got to leave the relative safety of our vehicle. It's apparently just the sort of secluded spot a cow would choose to give birth in. So we have to be very careful in case one of the cows is still hiding in the grass. Ali, how likely is it that we're going to see any calves in here? Surely you'd know if any of the cows are pregnant. Well, no, they actually hide their pregnancies really well. Um, they don't get a big lump on them like domestic cattle do. So the first thing I know of a new calf is either coming across it in some of this foliage or when it joins the herd at about a week or a week and a half old. So this is the type of area that a cow would leave her calf in. Why would she do that? Surely a calf needs the attention of its mother. Well, it's actually the best thing for that calf because for the first kind of week of its life, it's quite unsteady on its feet. Um, and as far as the cattle are concerned, there are still predators out here. So leaving it well hidden like this is the best thing for that calf. And deer do exactly the same thing. No calves or protective mothers in the long grass today, though. And to be honest, I'm quite relieved because I'm beginning to see our friend, the cow, in a very different light. Although these cattle are wild, Ellie, are there any lessons that we can learn in terms of how to behave around modern-day cattle? Avoid cows with young calves. No point walking straight through the middle of them if you can walk around the edge of them. Cattle are and always have been part of the countryside. They are going to be there. If you worry, just find an alternative route. Just to say, even though we are saying that they're wild cows, mm. they are actually in an enclosure in Northumberland. So, Perry, don't worry if you, when you're wandering around the hills right. of Northumberland. Right, because yeah. I was fearing for my life. That yeah. was the most bizarre thing ever. I could, me and Adam were just having a little chat about cows, <laughs> and you thought Matt was explaining about wild and domestic <laughs> cows to Little Nick, so it was pretty special. There you are.